What's up guys, today we're using underrated characters. Characters that are actually really good and just like generally in the A tier that people do not use. I mean, probably, some of them are probably going to be S tiers to me to be honest. I, I know I'm using a lot of people, but I know that I consider, I forgot that I consider like one of the S tiers. I forgot who. But I think, I think it's Turles for sure. Because I know I think one is an S tier, but I just forgot for some reason. And the S tier is, I think the, yeah, the S tier is Turles. I haven't used him in a while, but most of the times I do use him. He's one of the best characters ever, to be honest with you. Okay, I just got hit by freaking Frieza. You see, this is just more and more proof that I deserve the spot as the ruler of the idiot clan. I just called Whis Frieza. And I do correct it right after, but still, I'm literally such a freaking idiot. The bum. I mean, not Frieza, Whis the bum. Oh, he's gonna use that got a destruction trick if I don't get there fast. Stop, ru stop running. He's gonna use that instant Santa break trick. He's the first person who I've faced that actually put out of here. No matter. The only thing I don't really have perfected yet with Frieza is Santa breaking. As you can see, you just saw what I did right there. Yup, he did that. Luckily, I was blocking. Grabs him. Oh, super armor. Never knew that was his super thing. It was at this moment. Cause I usually never need to use it. Like, I literally n never need to use the freaking limit burst with him. Because he is literally so reliable. Like, if I do a shirt and get to a cheap win, but an actual fair win, Ray Flash, I can get how people would call that cheese. But I use it a lot, but it's not really cheese. It's more of a combo add-on. It's not like freaking, it's... Like, I've heard people say the dumbest stuff. Like, it's Ice Beam if Ice Beam lets you stand or break inside of it. That makes literally no sense. Freaking Uber's just, you know. Uber's getting on my nerves. Uber's getting on my nerves. Then you can do stuff like this. Please, your opponent. Then freaking, people say Gigantic Breaker does way too much damage. I mean, I can agree it does, but there's times where it doesn't do that much damage. Not saying it's still not cheese, but... It's not as cheese as people put out to be. The only cheese move she really has is Blaster Shell. That's the only cheese move she really has. Blaster shell. Yep. When I do this, then I do that. I'm not gonna die until I defeat two super souls. Real sorry, Mashup. But you really have dug your own grave. But you already died. But alright, bye guys. No, I'm just joking. Why did I say bye guys? You see, bad. Considered. I had to use that because the key blast is coming. But this guy can do mass damage to the point where he's nearly cheesed. 
You see what I mean, dude? He has a super soul that gives him a 40% boost, and when you're using the whiff, I'm gonna call it, then it just gets even worse. Look, these three Piccolo's already at this amount of health. We literally just started. Okay. It's gonna be very hard to hit Piccolo if he keeps using that freaking, you know. As you can see, I do I do a lot of damage with him. He's a very overpoweredly dangerous character, if you know how to use him right. To point, I half main trunks, and then I half main freaking I forgot. I half main freaking Gogeta or Vegito most of the time. So it's 50, 25, 25, which means he's technically my official main. So that was dumb to even wonder that. And you can already see in the sheer damage you I'm using. Just with a Super Saiyan boost. The match just started and we're already nearly over. Look at that. Do you see why I use him now? Do you see why I use him now? Every one of them. I've lo I literally love to use this game. I love every single move about him freaking. He's just one of the personal best characters to me. Okay, come on. Then he has dimensional hole, which is, well, dare I say, one of the most decentest moves in Dragon Ball Z over 2. I'm not gonna say the best, just one of the most decentest moves in Dragon Ball Z over 2, if you hit it. I'll call it the perfect dimensional. Referencing the perfect Susano from Naruto a little bit. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Come on. I'm really surprised that he didn't die way quicker than he did. You should have never done that. It's such a good move. I don't even know what to say about this freaking. <laughs> yeah. And it's not even him, but that's last but not least. You thought I was actually gonna pick him. No. You'll see it. I literally referenced it, I think at the start of the video. I had like 10 different recordings on this. So really, don't blame me. And he has the best move in the game, Revenge Death Ball. Need I say more? And why call Revenge Death Ball the best move in the game? Have you seen the damage on that? Have you? Have you seen the damage on Revenge Death Ball? I'm trying not to run into the freaking blow with the freaking Soul Punisher win. So I really could have actually died at that point. And the key last back hits are just so good. I literally, he literally dodged me just to get an attack from behind him. Guys, time for the final round. 
where I just need to get this video out before and really quickly before I poop myself. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I might actually poop. I took a massive crap in Chipotle once. You freaking idiot, you were never supposed to tell somebody at that time about Chipotle. And I got banned. I was, I was like, I think it was like recent, like, like before my 12th birthday, actually. I took a massive crap in Chipotle. I think they, I think they're gonna ban me if they find out who took a massive crap like that inside of their freaking shop. Also, yep, this is why Turles is just such a favorite character for me. I don't know what it is about it. Okay. Come on, Vegito. He can just set up so many good combos for me. Look, you see, like that. He can just set up so many good mini combos. But, but alright guys, I'm going to take the biggest poop ever and bye.